What's up guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make this. A small walnut box made from scrap wood, easy, at home, and you can sell at craft fairs. All right guys, let's head over to the wood rack. So I think for this project, I am going to use walnut. So let's see what we can find. Okay guys, I found a couple pieces of walnut. Um, I'm not sure how wide, I'll tell you in a minute, but this should definitely be enough walnut. So guys, for this project, you're going to need wood glue, a drill, a mallet, and some bamboo skewers. I have these left over from Thanksgiving. You're going to need a drill bit that is the same size or a little bit smaller than your bamboo skewers. You are also going to need a thickness planer. And lastly, you're going to need a chop saw, also known as a miter saw. If you don't have one of these, a handsaw will work just fine. But if you're lucky enough to have one of these, this is going to make your project turn out a lot better. Okay, guys, let's see what sizes our scrap wood are. Looks like I got two and seven eighths, two and seven eighths, and two and three fourths. We can use these. So we're going to start out this project on the thickness planer. Now you can either choose to make uh, your wood half an inch thick or three eighths of an inch thick. I am going to go with half an inch uh, just because uh, we're going to be using dowels to make this project. I have not used dowels before, so we're just going to make our wood a little bit thicker to give me a little bit more room for error. But if you want to make it three eighths, that's fine. for a helpful hint so my helpful hint for right now is when you're running stuff through the planer and you keep if you, and you continuously get snipe run your boards instead of just running it like next to each other one run one first and then as, as soon as you can butt the next one up against it and keep pushing it through this will cause uh, those two joints there to not have snipe I'll show you what I mean in a second <laughs> Okay guys, so instead of planing these to a half an inch, I planed them to three eighths of an inch just because it looked more normal. So uh, let's uh, go on to the next step of this project. So now we're just going to square up our ends of our scrap wood on the chop saw. So we're going to start by cutting two pieces of walnut at five and a half inches. And then cut that on the chop saw. So now we need to cut two pieces of walnut at seven and a half inches. Cut that on the chop saw. So this is roughly how your box frame is going to come together. Now let me show you how we're going to start putting the dowels in. And by dowels I mean leftover bamboo skewers from Thanksgiving. So I'm going to use a little trick that I learned. Um, well what we're going to do is we're basically just going to glue this together, make sure it's square, and then we're going to let it sit for about an hour, and that's going to let the glue harden up. Now for this project, the dowels are going to be mostly decorative because it's going to contrast with the walnut, but they are also going to help hold it together. So we're going to put some glue on this, make sure it's square, and then in an hour, we're going to come through and drill some holes and make the dowels. It should be pretty cool. You don't need to get real heavy with the glue, just enough to hold it in for an hour. Put the side that you don't want to see on the inside, and I'm going to do that side. Line up your ends, and if your boards aren't exactly the same width, 
make sure that they line up on one end. All right, let's go get a damp rag and wipe away the glue. Wiping away the glue now will make your life way easier. It's harder to sand away glue than it is to just wipe it away. So make sure you do this. Very important step. So now we just got to wait an hour and then we'll come back and keep working. I just planed down some more walnut that I can use as the bottom and the lid of my box. So only about 10 minutes after the glue is put on there, and it's already hard enough that I can, you know, tip it over and kind of measure it, but I wouldn't be too uh, rough with it. Okay, let's just trace out this box onto this wood, lining up the edges, and we'll just trace around it. Perfect. All right. So just still be gentle with this. Set that to the side. And now we can go cut this out. You can use a table saw or you can use a chop saw or a band saw if you have it. I'm going to use the chop saw just because it's shortcuts and that's what I have. I also have a table saw, but this is just going to be faster. So let's get to it. So now it would be a good time to put your bottom on while the glue can still move, just in case it's not perfectly flat. So let's just pull up our thing, a little box, add a tiny little bead of glue around the outside. Again, this is only just to hold our box together so we can put the dowels on there. Okay. Now we'll just carefully set our box down on top. Any excess we can trim away with the bandsaw later. That looks pretty good to me. Okay guys, so we are gonna start doweling the bottom first. We have our bottom glued on. It's fairly secure. We're gonna start by putting dowels in the bottom so we can help secure this thing. So what you're gonna wanna do is drill two holes on each side going straight down into the board. And I have my drill bit set to an inch and a half out, so we're only going an inch and a half down, which is plenty for what we're doing. So let's start drilling some holes for those skewers. Break off a piece of skewer, just a bit longer than the depth of your hole. Put a little tad of glue on there just to help secure it in there. And hammer it in. With the mallet. And you can hear when it bottoms out. So, when you're done with that, we can move on to the next one. And just keep moving your way around. Okay, you guys got my dowels on the bottom. It looks really, really rough, but trust me, it will clean up very nicely. So now we can move on to the ends. And the ends are the same process as the top, just drill holes and hammer and dowels. Okay, guys, got all my dowels in there. It's covered in glue. It looks like trash, but don't worry. It's very strong. It's going to turn out good. We're going to wait a few hours for this to dry because we need this to be solid. Then we can put on the lid and we can add some finishing touches to our box.
Okay, guys, our dowels are done drying. Now what we need to do is get a, a small little saw and trim off all the dowels. So guys, right now I'm going to sand this and make it all nice and then we can add the lid. So I've just been doing a little bit of sanding and there is one of the, focus, there is one of the dowels in there. I've been getting it pretty smooth, I, got, I have a lot more work to do and I'll probably just time lapse it so let's keep sanding. Okay guys, after a bit of sanding it's time to attach our lid. And it's going to be overhanging the front a little bit. And we are going to be using these small little hinges. And we're going to attach them using the uh, screwdriver on this pocket knife because it's small enough. Hinges are on. Lid's working good. Opens up and down very nicely. So now what I'm going to do is give it a couple uh, passes of 1,000 grit sandpaper just to smooth it out real good before I add... Uh, three coats of polyurethane and this is turning out really nicely I'm most likely going to sell this at a craft fair uh, I'm probably gonna put 15 bucks on it um, so let's get uh, time-lapse going of the polyurethane Okay, guys, here is our final product. Got a nice glossy lid. Open it up. We got nice, this paint's not dry yet, but very nice. I think it turned out wonderful. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, comment down below. Look forward to more interesting videos and topics in the future. But if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments below. And I'll try to answer every single one of them. Thank you. Bye, guys.